Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues and guests. Let me declare open the session of the Dissertation Council for the Defense of Thesis by Chen Xin Lin for the degree of Candidate of Political Science, Specialization 23004, Political Problems of International Relations, Global and Regional Development on the theme, Political Aspects of Investments of China in the Oil and Gas Sector of the Russian Economy. According to the order of St. Petersburg University of the 7th of June 2019, order number 6295-1, me, Vasilova Natalia Alexeyevna, Doctor of Philosophy, Professor of the Department of World Politics of St. Petersburg University, was appointed Chairman of this Dissertation Council. Also, let me introduce my fellow Council members. Pansarev Konstantin Arsenievich, Doctor of Political Science, Associate Professor of the Department of Theory and History of International Relations of St. Petersburg University. I beg your pardon. It's a mistake. <laughs> Professor of the Department of Theory and History of International Relations of St. Petersburg University, Zelenova Irina Vladimirovna, Doctor of History, Professor of the Department of World Politics of St. Petersburg University, Pagodin, Sergei Nikolaevich, Doctor of Historical Sciences, Professor, Director of the Higher School of International Relations of St. Petersburg Polytechnic University of Peter the Great. In the remote interactive mode, we have Makasheva Clara Naldibekovna, Doctor of History, uh, El Farabi, Kazakh National University, Kazakhstan. First, let me specially emphasize that according to the federal law of the 23rd of August, 1996, number 127, on science and the state scientific and technical policy, St. Petersburg University ha has the right to award academic degrees independently. The corresponding order on the procedure for awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University, uh, on the basis of which we are holding this session of the Council, the order was issued on the 1st of September 2016. Order number 6821-1, hearing after are referred to as the order. In accordance with this order, the session or the Dissertation Council is duly constituted if at least two-thirds of the approved members of the Council are participating, but not less than four persons. Our Dissertation Council consists of five members. All the members are present, including uh, one member in the remote interactive mode. Thus, there is a quorum. Let me set forth the procedure of today's session with a total duration of no more than two hours. The Chairman's summary report on the main content of the documents submitted by the candidate and their compliance with the applicable requirements. Answers to possible questions, five minutes. A brief presentation by the degree applicant outlining the key points of her study. 15 minutes. Questions to the applicant strictly on his report. No more than two minutes per question. Answers of the candidate. Speeches of all members of the Dissertation Council with their reviews, with the statement of their positions, questions, and suggestions to the candidate. No more than 10 minutes for each speaker. A speech by the chairman and uh, her review. Answers of the candidate to questions and comics 
all members of the dissertation council no more than 15 minutes. Open discussion, speeches of the attendees with with a summary of their positions and or with specific questions and suggestions to the dissertation uh, candidate strictly on the topic of the study, no more than five minutes per person. To do that, all the speakers are kindly requested to put their names on the registration sheet and introduce themselves in full before speaking, if anyone wishes to do so. Final answers of the applicant to questions asked, no more than five minutes. Speech of the academic advisor, no more than three minutes. A five-minute discussion before the open voting on awarding or not awarding the academic degree of uh, St. Petersburg University to the candidate. For the time of this discussion, the uh, broadcasting shall be suspended. Open individual voting. The chairman of the council should count the votes and the results should be recorded in the minutes of the meeting. A decision on awarding or not awarding the academic degree to the candidate and the closing remarks of the candidate, no more than two minutes. Before we start the official procedure, let me remind you to switch off your mobile phones. Thank you for your understanding. I should also do that. Let me also inform you that our meeting shall be recorded and broadcast online at the university website, and the speeches are being simultaneously translated from Russian into English or from English into Russian. So let us begin the meeting with our first item, the Chairman's Summary Report. The thesis by Chen Xinlin for the degree of Candidate of Political Science, Specialization. 23.0004, Political Problems of International Relations, Global and Regional Development, on the theme, Political Aspects of Investment of China in the Oil and Gas Sector of the Russian Economy, was accepted for defense by the order of the Academic Secretary of St. Petersburg University on the 8th of February 2019, order number uh, 1007-1. The Dissertation Council was appointed by the order of the Academic Secretary of St. Petersburg University on the 7th of June 2019, 6295-1. And I have already introduced its members to you, dear colleagues and guests. The candidate submitted the following documents to the Academic Secretary of St. Petersburg University. An application to the rector submitted on the 17th of April 2018, a review by the academic advisor uh, Svetlana Mikhailovna Vinogradova, a list of 23 publications, including seven articles and peer-reviewed scientific journals from the list approved by the Ministry of Education and Science of the Russian Federation, a certificate of candidate examination, uh, specialization a diploma on completing the postgraduate course issued in 2017, and the thesis in Russian and in English on paper, on the rights of manuscripts, and in the electronic form. The thesis has been presented in accordance with the requirements of uh, GAST R7.0 and printed on a multiplier device with the indication of the output data, according to GAST R704. It should be noticed that all the documents listed above comply with Clause 12, Section 3, Thesis, Presentation and Defense, the procedure for awarding the academic degrees at St. Petersburg University. Annex 1 to the order. 
Does anyone have any question uh, on the list of documents? In, if no one has questions, let's proceed to the next item on our agenda. A brief presentation of the applicant. Uh, let me remind the applicant the presentation should not take more than uh, 15 minutes. Hello, uh, distinguished chairman, members of the recitation council, and guests. Let me present to you the results of my study, the political aspects of Chinese investment in the oil and gas sectors of the Russian economy. The relations between Russia and China have been developing dramatically in recent years. It's obvious that the expansion of mutual understanding between the two countries has become an important part of their bilateral interaction which is currently characterized by a wide range of areas of cooperation, including intensive contacts at the top level. According to Tarakanova, for China, the relationship with Russia is one of the ways to achieve its economic and political goals in the region and around the world. Over the past 20 years, the economic cooperation between the two countries have been growing rapidly. Bilateral trade has increased, uh, reached uh, $88.15 uh, billion dollars, uh, in uh, 2018. Um, and in uh, 2018, um, the main share of Russian export to China is distributed in the following uh, mineral fuel, which accompanied for more than half of the Russian exports in terms of value, was in the first place. In the structure of Russian export, China is mainly attracted by oil, oil products, and coal. A Chinese researcher Zhou Zun states, at the moment, China is the largest consumer and importer of oil in the world. The uh, foreign policy of the People's Republic of China is based on the need to supply the missing natural resources uh, uh, and strategic raw materials necessary to maintain the constantly growing living standards of the population and the pace of economic growth. In connection with this, the increasing role of the resource factor in the world politics is a new defining trend and mode of activity for the states and companies working in this direction. As the prospects of social and economic development of the states directly depend on the necessary natural resources. Since oil imports depend on the international oil market, China is forced to look for stable sources of supply. In this context, Russia is of great interest to China as it is a rich energy company. Investment in the oil and gas cooperation between China and Russia is one of the components of the Sino-Russian strategic partnership. Therefore, the study of the political aspects of Chinese investment in the Russian oil and gas sector is important and relevant. The aim of my research is to uh, disclose peculiarities of interrelation of political and economic components of the Chinese investment in the Russian oil and gas industry in the light of prospects of the Sino-Russian cooperation and dynamics of changes in the modern global and regional development. The uh, following, uh, I have to address the following task. Um, give scientific evaluation of resource potential Russian China uh, from the point of its role in uh, shaping the political and economic relationship of two states. Sorry, we cannot, we cannot see you anymore. Yes, okay, now, uh, please go or continue. Uh, so we have to deal with the, uh, address the following tasks. Uh, get, uh, provide scientific evaluation of the resource potential of Russia and China 
and its role in shaping the political economic relations uh, between the two countries. Secondly, characterize the main uh, spheres of investment policy of China in the international oil and gas sector um, from the uh, point of uh, Chinese uh, go-out strategy to uh, identify peculiarities of Chinese investment policy in the sphere of uh, China-Russian oil and gas cooperation and uh, explain priority of the Russian vector in the structure of Chinese investment. I identify challenges in the Russia-Chinese investment cooperation and uh, identify and ways to overcome them to uh, identify the international significance of developing relations between Rus Russia and China in the oil and gas sector. The methodological basis of my research, uh, apart from the structural and functional method, uh, the uh, historical approach is, uh, is of great importance, uh, which I applied uh, to uh, explore the uh, object of my study and uh, significance. Uh, comparative, uh, comparative method is also significant, uh, which should be used, uh, and the necessity to use it uh, results from the aim and uh, objectives of the author, uh, whose uh, goal is to analyze the oil and gas policies of Russia and China. While uh, working on my thesis, I was the geopolitical and geoeconomic approaches to the resource policy of China uh, in view of the changes in uh, modern geopolicy and uh, how these changes uh, affected uh, the uh, dimensional visions of today's world, such approaches enable us to, to uh, get deeper understanding of the oil and gas policy and uh, challenges of uh, pipeline construction, uh, carrying uh, energy sources, environment protection, etc. In the uh, framework of uh, my thesis, uh, the institutional approach seems to be uh, very relevant. Uh, though this approach is generally used by political scientists, this method enables us to review the role, to understand the role of uh, political and public organizations and institutions, as well as norms and traditions uh, of the resource policy of China and Russia. In uh, my thesis, I uh, use such case studies um, uh, in, uh, described the key oil and gas projects, Russia and China. I rely on theoretical works dedicated to the go-out concept and uh, the policy of strategic partnership and interaction, as well as the works of Chinese authors uh, dedicated uh, to investment uh, policies. The theoretical significance of my study is that the uh, thesis demonstrates uh, the need to study the investment cooperation of Russia and China from the UN national, regional, and global factors uh, in their unity and contradictions. The practical significance of the thesis lies in the fact that the uh, findings of my research can be used uh, in prepar for preparation of uh, courses and textbooks in the theory of international relations in Russian universities as well as uh, uh, education institutions of China and other countries. In conclusion, uh, the conclusion uh, contains the main uh, conclusions of my thesis. Uh, I have demonstrated the development of the world, or world oil and gas structure has uh, uh, reached a new era. And while well, the uh, success of uh, Russian and uh, of the Chinese economy uh, enabled China to occupy a significant place in the world oil and gas market, um, China has to invest uh, in uh, foreign uh, states um, since it uh, meets it uh, lacks uh, natural resources, and investment in the oil and gas s sphere is especially important for China, uh, which is now compete in competition uh, with the world's leading country. At present, Russia and China, the emerging powers, highly appreciate cooperation in the oil and gas industry.
Joint work in the field of oil and gas is carried out not only to promote sustainable development of the national economies, but also to maintain stability in the international market. Russia and China are developing constructive cooperation in politics, economics and cultural exchange, which is conditioned by history. The development of a common strategy for the development of Sino-Russian oil and gas cooperation will lay a solid foundation for the stable and extensive cooperation between China and Russia for global prosperity and development, as well as for the implementation of the regional integration. Expansion of the Sino-Russian resource cooperation can lead to restructuring of the world order and contribute to the formation of a new multipolar world model. Thank you. Dear colleagues, uh, next item on our agenda is questions to the applicant, but uh, let's make sure the questions are related strictly to the uh, candidate's presentation and the answers uh, shall not take more than ten, two minutes for, for each question. Does anyone have any question? Uh, Professor Zeleneva, I have two questions. My first question. What limitations in the sphere of investment uh, in oil and gas sector there are? Uh, limitations. Chinese investments, when Chinese companies invest in Russia, uh, sometimes the rules change and investors lose uh, investors uh, lose certainty. Uh, this is an uh, this is a limitation. Uh, this is a limitation for the Russian investors. Okay, let me ask uh, an, another question. Uh, what are the risks uh, for the Chinese companies investing in Russia? What are the risks? Uh, for the Chinese companies, uh, well, there are many risks, or maybe there is only one risk. Thank you for your question. First, oil and gas investments, uh, uh, these are m massive, and So what are the risks for Russia? So what are the risks? No, excuse me. What are the risks for China? Uh, because uh, uh, the sums are large. And when the political aspects are involved, uh, incorrect investment can improve or worsen the relations between the countries. And for Russia, oil and gas resources, uh, oil is like black gold for the, the industry. Uh, unique in the world, and uh, uh, the impact on the environment can also be a risk. And at the moment, in the oil and gas culture, for Russia, if uh, investment is incor incorrect investment or if sometimes uh, 
if uh, China invests too much in the oil and gas sector of Russia, other countries will be jealous. Uh, other countries involved in this r relationship will be jealous uh, because there are uh, other stakeholders in this and other countries. And if so, this uh, it will also be a risk. Uh, so, what are the countries? Uh, thank you for your question. These are countries, for example. Uh, I listed in Chapter 3, uh, such as the USA, Japan, and, and OPEC states, uh, uh, major players in the oil and gas uh, industry and in other sectors. I understand. Thank you. Are you satisfied with the answers? Uh, do we have more questions? Uh, let me also ask two questions. Uh, Professor Pagodin, Doctor of History, Professor. Uh, uh, I have uh, questions related to an uh, important point of your thesis, novelty. Let me quote. Item three, uh, novelty, is explained uh, the defined uh, significant features of Chinese uh, foreign uh, policy of uh, go, out, go out policy and its investment components. So in your opinion, what are uh, uh, these strategic points? Could you explain, uh, expand a little bit item three of uh, uh, your no novelty factors? Chinese investment strategy of going out was introduced in the year 2000. And as very Chinese, so it uh, it was introduced very recently. In this case, China is uh, uh, there is uh, there's no uh, China lacks natural resources, uh, so China has to invest uh, abroad. Uh, <laughs> that's not. Uh, China has to invest in foreign countries and the features. Uh, this is uh, Chinese investment policy. It has a Chinese political uh, nature. Thank you. I see. Is that all? Uh, I have another question, please. Uh, so about uh, clause uh, four, item four of novelty features, identify most efficient models of oil and gas cooperation and uh, Chinese foreign investment. So in your opinion, what are the exact models of oil and gas cooperation. Thank you for this question. The models, thank you for the model. These are models already, these models already exist. They can be divided in three groups. First, uh, there are models connected with oil and gas, such as Angola. Uh, second, con service contracts for example, Middle East, and third, uh, oil exchange, such as Vietnam. And uh, we, as, so we uh, found that there are um, uh, three models, and in the future, there will be analyzed uh, four models 
uh, model of uh, common goals, model of information exchange, model of uh, mutual uh, dependence. And one more model, the model of mutual dependence. Are you satisfied with the answer? Uh, the Dr. Pansirev, do you have questions? No. Okay, I have a small question, please. Uh, I would, uh, uh, Dr. Makasheva, speaking of uh, China investing in the oil gas sector of uh, Russia, can you name exact oil and gas fields in which China invested? Because uh, your uh, you look at the sector in general. Can you uh, name specific oil and gas fields? In uh, 2014, uh, Chinese contract in this tw uh, tw uh, uh, oil gas in 2004, the gas relationship. Can you name any specific? Uh, the strength of Siberia, this is a pipeline. Can you name exact oil fields? in the Far East and Siberia. Investment. Uh, China invested not in exact oil fields, but in, oil, uh, pipe, in the pipelines, etc. Not in e uh, development of exact oil fields and gas fields. Uh, are you satisfied? I see with the answers. Uh, Professor Pantsirev, how Chinese investment in oil and gas sector of Russia uh, is related to uh, implementation of uh, one belt, one way concept, concept? How do these concepts relate to each other? Uh, implementation of one way one bell concept uh, are these two different concepts uh, thank you very much for your question the, the one way one belt strategy uh, was introduced in 2013 and implementation of this strategy includes Russia and uh, neighbor countries, the geopolitical opinion, they are close to each other. And second, Russia has all rich oil and gas resources and child lacks these resources. And secondly, uh, through one way, one belt, uh, it's underneath this strategy, it's possible to obtain more support from the state and it will be, will be possible to invest more. Uh, compared to uh, earlier. Are you satisfied with the answer? Yes, I heard the answer. Okay, no one has more questions. Uh, thank you. Please have a seat. Uh, let's proceed to the next item. Uh, the reviews, ex including external reviews. We don't have any external reviews. Uh, that is why uh, let's give the floor. Uh, f uh, first, uh, we shall start with the review by uh, 
Konstantin Arsenievich Pansarev, uh, dear chairman, dear members of the, dear colleagues, dear members of the council, uh, the uh, thesis presented here, uh, the subject is highly relevant uh, because uh, cooperation with uh, China and uh, oil and gas cooperation has uh, a very um, significant, plays a significant role. And uh, the author formulated uh, the thesis is, has a clear structure, a long list of uh, literature, many sources in the Chinese language, uh, which gives an opportunity to say that uh, well, many Chinese scientists now working on this issue. The author uh, presents a list of uh, articles and presentations she made at international conferences, uh, which clearly signifies a significant effort of the uh, of the uh, candidate. But uh, after reading this uh, th this first, the ti we are uh, we think the title of the thesis is not good. Uh, in our opinion. Uh, uh, this is a good title for uh, an al analytical summary, but not for thesis, because it does not uh, disclose the uh, any issues uh, the candidate will study. Uh, the thesis is very descriptive. The author uh, describes interaction of Russia and China, the oil and gas sphere of oil and gas. Uh, especially focusing on the oil and gas uh, policy of China. In our opinion, the author uh, uh, quotes too much. Uh, in some, on some pages, uh, we find six, seven uh, quotations in the same um, uh, on the same page. Uh, the, uh, I think the uh, uh, author is not uh, violated. Uh, clause 11 of uh, uh, yet in our uh, opinion uh, it's hard to uh, differentiate personal opinions of the applicant uh, and uh, the uh, totally there are 398 references about the um, st uh, st points uh, put for defense, for protection, uh, development of um, uh, the basis of development of uh, in a relationship with oil and gas supplies is the Chinese strategy of uh, Chinese go-out strategy. Investment policy of China in the Russian oil and gas sector uh, is mutually beneficial. And uh, th uh, invest um, investment cooperation ensures uh, the energy uh, safety for both countries at the national and international level. Uh, first, uh, well, the uh, um, points uh, put for defense are very few, even for the uh, candidates' faces. Uh, secondly, uh, the author lists uh, uh, common truths which do not require any uh, uh, any evidence. Uh, so as a result, uh, it's uh, hard to say um, what's the author's contribution. Uh, so to answer this question, uh, we um, looked at the uh, goal of the study. There the author says that the uh, goal of his study is to identify uh, peculiarities of uh, Chinese investment in the oil and gas uh, sector of Russia uh, in the framework of Ru Sino-Russian cooperation and uh, dynamics of changes in the global regional development. In our opinion, the goal of the thesis uh, is not clearly stated and doesn't give uh, a clear impression of what the work is going to be about. Uh, at the same time, uh, the uh, subject of the thesis, I'm quoting on page 7, political aspects of, inve of Chinese investment in the oil and gas uh, uh, sector of Russia uh, uh, re reiterates the title of the thesis itself. Uh, this uh, enables us to conclude uh, that the subject of the study uh, uh, has been defined incorrectly and doesn't uh, agree with the content. Uh, the theoretical 
basis of the study uh, is also not clearly defined. Uh, it's, it, uh, the author has substituted it with the go out strategy, chapter two, uh, yet, but it uh, cannot be used as the theoretical basis, uh, which is a must for every thesis. Uh, the methodological basis of the thesis uh, described uh, on page seven, there the author states that the methodological basis of the, is, is a structural function method uh, where the subject was studied as a key element of the public of the social and political system uh, the system of international relations yet in the uh, thesis itself uh, the uh, subject uh, is not has not been studied as a key element of the uh, social political system uh, the thesis uh, that uh, the author um, uh, relied on the dependence of the social organism uh, of uh, environment and, uh, and the role of uh, values on page seven. So what? Uh, so it's not quite clear what does the author mean here. Uh, the or the thesis is full of statistics. Yet we are not quite clear why why the author does not use uh, the uh, most recent statistics. Uh, two, three years old. For example, on page 77, uh, the author uh, refers to a report uh, in the past five years. Uh, yet, uh, statistics uh, end in uh, 2010. And the report to which the author refers uh, dates 2014. So uh, now we live in 2019. Uh, so statistics uh, cannot be uh, uh, regarded as relevant. On page 64, uh, there is an unfinished sentence. Uh, it makes sense to develop not only economic but cultural cooperation to strengthen the strategic partnership with other countries, organize conferences, exhibitions, meetings with partners, and uh, for some reason the author never finished uh, this sentence. On page uh, 103, the author, when describing uh, Forum Moscow-Beijing uh, trade, economic and cultural cooperation on the Silk Way, uh, uh, indicates that uh, special attention was paid to the internet economic cooperation of different countries. I think this uh, thesis uh, requires clarif this statement re needs clarification uh, because uh, we don't understand, we didn't understand what the internet economic cooperation is. On pages 107, 115, uh, the thesis contains a large uh, uh, passage dedicated uh, to uh, getting uh, female workers more involved in the oil and gas sector, uh, but uh, which uh, this part uh, is is not really related to the content. Uh, considering uh, these comments, I uh, would say that the uh, thesis by uh, Chen Xinlin, uh, political aspects of Chinese investment, doesn't meet the key requirements uh, set forth by the order uh, 6821-1 on the order of awarding academic degrees in St. Petersburg University, and the candidate Chen, Chen Xin Lin does not deserve uh, the academic degree of candidate of political sciences, specialty tw specialization 23004, political problems of international relations, global and regional development. That's it. Uh, thank you. Uh, you want to answer comments of all council members or one by one? Okay, so uh, let please answer the comments of uh, Professor Pantsarev. Uh, thank you, Karstantin Arsenevich, for your questions and interesting comments. At the moment, uh, there's a need to establish close political and economic uh, uh, relations between China and Russia. In our thesis, we have studied the Chinese investment policy in the context of world development, uh, Chinese go-out strategy, interaction of China-Russia in the sphere of energy, problem and investment. In, uh, in our thesis, uh, we gave scientific evaluation of the resource potential of uh, Russia and China for, uh, from the point of its role in uh, shaping the political economic uh, investment. Uh, we characterize the main uh, of uh, 
uh, we trace uh, peculiarities of investment uh, policy of China in the field of uh, Russia, China Chinese oil and gas cooperation and explained the uh, importance of Russian vector. Uh, we identified the reasons of uh, uh, challenges in the Russia Chinese investment uh, cooperation and suggested w- ways to overcome them. Identified international meaning of developing relations between China and Russia in the oil and gas uh, sector. We uh, we um, uh, analyzed over uh, 300 uh, books, uh, laws, and we believe that political aspects are very important. Uh, and um, uh, our uh, work is a is a uh, is a uh, thesis. Uh, speaking of uh, too many quotes. Uh, s- Uh, since 1859 uh, to uh, 2010, uh, we did not emphasize this in the title of our thesis because in the text uh, for example uh, it says so in the text uh, in the first paragraph Uh, central environment and uh, external environment. Uh, second, uh, speaking of uh, too many quotes, uh, uh, which is not justified, I'd like to say that on the other country, uh, the great number of reference quotes means that uh, the ideas in my thesis are popular in China and are supported by many authors, many Chinese authors. Uh, the uh, as for um, uh, the use of structural and functional method in my thesis, um, uh, the uh, element of the method is the history of study of uh, scientific uh, challenges of development of oil and gas uh, industry uh, sector of China at the international level, and uh, so we uh, uh, studied problems related to the uh, Bay of Mexico and uh, political aspects of the go-out uh, policy in the international context on uh, page 8 and 9. As for your next comment, uh, the um, uh, statement about the relation of social organism on the environment, uh, here we mean that uh, stable systems play, play a major role in development of the national relations and strengthening the economic and political cooperation. Uh, the next comment on uh, not using the latest data, we'd like to say that uh, uh, well, the uh, thesis um, refers to, ma- ma- mentions more than development, for example, on page 136, uh, table 4. Uh, it uh, shows development of trade between Russia and China from uh, 2003 to December 2017. Um, page on page 139 uh, says uh, 2017 uh, gave a new uh, impact uh, to the development of Russia Chinese political and economic cooperation uh, for example uh, one of the main events of uh, St Petersburg International Economic Forum etc. And on pages 140-141, we listed six uh, key meetings of uh, heads of uh, Russia and China in 2016. Also, um, uh, I submitted the text in uh, 2017. That's why uh, So the, this was the most recent data available in 2017. Uh, speaking of the theoretical basis of my study, the theoretical basis of uh, there is uh, has a theoretical basis. Uh, in addition to the chapter on investment strategy of uh, go out on page 95, uh, uh, one way, one belt, um, Chinese um, uh, researcher Zhou Zun, uh, uh, he paid it, uh, attention to the fact that the uh, economic uh, belt of uh, Silkway countries of Central Asia uh, will become important players of transcontinental economic interaction that will promote uh, development of the uh, Eurasian region and strengthen the uh, 
links between the states uh, and uh, promote development of resources on their terrorists. In um, 2012, uh, General Secretary Xi Jinping introduced the Chinese dream. The idea of Chinese dream became a, a significant theoretical basis for female development. Uh, environment protection, gender issues are also compared, compared, uh, connected with policies, etc. Page 103, um, we use the term internet uh, interaction. We mean interaction through mass media, uh, through the internet. Um, uh, and on page uh, 107, 115, on uh, gender pro uh, problems, uh, we mean uh, female employees in the oil and gas uh, sector of China and Russia, more uh, respect to women working in oil and gas companies in Russia and China uh, will give more certainty to women, and that will strengthen uh, Chinese investment in the oil and gas uh, sector of Russia. Uh, and, and another, there was another comment. Uh, two more comments. I agree that I uh, uh, missed some words on page 64. Uh, should say 50 and on. And uh, I also did not complete a sentence with so on. And I would like to say in conclusion that so on. And the miss in the, some uh, that uh, this uh, uh, does not affect the uh, general line of my research. Uh, thank you. Okay, now let's give the floor to Professor Zelenieva. Uh, dear Chairman, dear members of the Dissertation Council, dear colleagues, dear guests, the oil and uh, gas sector plays a major role in Russia, uh, uh, Chinese relations. Russia for China is one of the main trading partners. Cooperation in the oil and gas sector has great potential for development in the sphere of investment and common interests. Yet there are some challenges in the sphere, such as growing competition uh, among suppliers in the world uh, energy markets. Uh, investment in, in the oil and gas sector in Russia uh, uh, in the uh, during the sanctions, uh, well, sanctions are acting is a, a key trend of development of the economic strategy in general. Uh, the uh, thesis by Chen Xinlin, political aspects of, of Chinese investment in the oil and gas sector of Russia, uh, is dedicated to a relevant subject. Um, the uh, uh, main goal of the author, as uh, she says on page six, uh, was to um, describe peculiarities of um, uh, relation of political economic components of investment. Uh, the uh, uh, scientific uh, goals are uh, quite convincing. Uh, the author uses uh, doc official documents of China, yet the key documents uh, regulating the uh, economic energy uh, strategy of Russia are missing, uh, which uh, means the analysis of investment climate in Russia is missing. Uh, the author has uh, studied the works of uh, Chinese authors on Russia. Uh, uh, Russia-Chinese relations, international and gas cooperation, uh, which is an advantage of this thesis. Yet uh, numerous monographs and articles by Russian international um, uh, studies in this field, uh, such as articles by uh, Vradi, Golubkov, Kurt, Tomberg. The list of uh, literature is uh, a very uh, uh, um, uh, is, is not well presented. The first chapter is dedicated to the Chinese investment policy in the context of world development. The first paragraph, milestones of the illusion of international and gas uh, policy. The author um, aims, tries to trace the development of international and gas structure. Uh, I, it's not clear why the author needs this paragraph, uh, because uh, it describes the evolution of OPEC very briefly. In the second chapter of her thesis, uh, 
the author studies the Chinese strategy of uh, go out strategy and the Russian uh, the, she was quite uh, she uh, has uh, managed to demonstrate uh, the go out policy uh, demonstrated its strong points uh, you may agree with the conclusion that investment uh, strategy uh, first of all applies to well coordinated activity of uh, companies and uh, the government uh, the uh, experience and models e used by China in the investment policy are interested um, interesting but uh, the um, Russian oil and gas strategy uh, uh, are not properly ha have not been described properly uh, the author has analyzed external factors uh, which affect the Russia Chinese relations in the oil and gas sector uh, such players as USA Japan and policy of uh, Central Asia st countries uh, the author suggested a list of methods uh, that would strengthen Russia Chinese cooperation uh, strengthening trust and increasing the role of government a uh, novelty of uh, the thesis by Chen Xinlin, political aspects, uh, in our opinion, uh, demonstrated with the following statements, um, defined uh, key features of Chinese external strategy, uh, go out strategy. First of all, it's a investment component, identify most efficient model of gas cooperation. Uh, she emphasizes the leading role of the state in implementation of the gas and cooperation, demonstrated uh, strong and weak uh, uh, points. Yet, uh, uh, some um, uh, uh, points are very ambiguous. For example, when uh, explaining a novelty of the work, uh, the author says, I have traced a connection of political, economic, social, uh, cultural factors, uh, page 14. Uh, how these factors and investment of China in the oil and gas sector are related? Uh, second question. Um, which I found find ambiguous. Uh, what are the model or models of Chinese investment um, uh, most efficient for oil and gas cooperation between Russia and China? And what are the weak points of uh, activities of uh, oil and gas? Uh, the uh, thesis by Chen Xinlin, political aspects of in Chinese investment in oil and gas uh, meets the key requirements set forth uh, by the uh, order, the 1st of September 2016, 6821-1, on the order of awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. And the uh, applicant, Chen Xinlin, deserves to be awarded uh, the, the degree of candidate of political science, specialization 23004, political problem of international relations, global and regional development, clause 11 of the above-mentioned order has not been violated. Thank you. Uh, highly respected, uh, Irina Vladimirovna, thank you for your uh, questions and valuable comments. Uh, well, uh, speaking of the uh, master's evolution of the international and gas, in Chinese scientific literature, we identify several periods in development of oil and gas structure, um, called the Mexican Gulf, uh, per, uh, Persian Gulf, and uh, Central Asia, and and the history of this uh, of this uh, so this uh, the history um, uh, has uh, well political. Uh, and the um, and I will study the evolution of APEC in the in the future. Uh, second, um, uh, the interest is, is, is factors of in the oil and gas sector. I would like to say that the energy policy is uh, uh, the basis of the uh, national uh, industry, as a source of power for other industries. Uh, as a source of power, is, is ensures development and growth of the national economy. Investment in the oil and gas industry abroad has both economic and political significance. The social and cultural, cultural factors are also very important because each state is interested in studying a culture, mutual understanding, uh, learn languages, and establishing good political relations. In this context, the oil and gas investment cooperation is not only related to economics and politics, but also to the social and cultural factors. 
on the most the second question of about the most effective model of oil and gas cooperation we believe that with the development of process the model of loans in exchange for oil is the most effective model for oil and gas cooperation between Russia and China because this model can ensure long term oil and gas supplies to China The implementation of the agreement loans in exchange for oil will not only improve uh, uh, energy stability but also contribute to the development of prospects of Eastern Siberia and the Far East. And uh, speaking of weaknesses, uh, its lack of experience and understanding with uh, exporting countries, while the Chinese oil and gas companies are still in their infancy as compared to the majority of experienced large international oil and gas corporations. So the Chinese oil and gas companies are still in their inf- infancy. Uh, and they display uh, low uh, competitiveness uh, in um, resource extraction, transportation, and other areas. And as for the other comments, As for the other comments, I accept, and I will uh, certainly take them into account in my future research. Uh, Professor Bagodin, uh, Mr. Dear Chairman, uh, dear members of the Council, dear uh, dear colleagues, um, the strength of China's grow China's great getting growing getting stronger every year. Uh, which means um, China needs more energy and um, well uh, has limited access to resources, especially speaking of oil and gas. Um, I- import of energy sources from Russia uh, meets the economic interests of the economic demands of both countries. That is why the choice of uh, the dissertation uh, theme uh, seems relevant because the economic uh, relations of Russia and China meet the strategic um, uh, development of uh, the two states. The uh, candidate has defined uh, the the study of peculiarities of political economic components as the uh, aim of her study, and uh, as well as uh, dynamics or changes in the modern global regional development. In this context, Uh, has structured the study, starting with Chapter 1, with uh, defining the role of Chinese investment policy uh, in the uh, modern global economy. In uh, the first paragraph, uh, the author analyzes the history of development of the uh, world oil and gas industry. Uh, The author uh, focuses on the energy safety, uh, because in the modern world, Uh, in the modern world, uh, dynamic development depends on the energy factor. Uh, in this, in connection with this, uh, the author concludes that the economies of Russia and China uh, can complement in each other well, and uh, by increasing trade and implementing joint energy projects, uh, is a, we, uh, both states will benefit from that. Uh, strengthening the Russo-Chinese economic relations uh, is, is uh, contributed by close geographic location. And uh, so I'm quoting uh, page 5051. In the second uh, chapter, uh, we find the third paragraph interesting international aspects, aspects of Russian oil and gas policy, page 7580. Uh, from the point of um, explaining the key ideas, interaction of Rus- Russia and China in the sphere of energy pro- investment challenges, Uh, became the uh, center of the study. Uh, The author quite justly says that China and Russia complement each other in their resource strategy, especially in the sphere of uh, resource, uh, energy resources and energy markets. Cooperation in the uh, oil sector between Russia and China is supported by the government of two countries with political reasons. Um, Quoting page 81-82, it's important, it should be noted that the author is uh, interest in gender issues, uh, respect to workers. 
uh, promoting personnel development of these important milestone in the uh, in the process of strengthening uh, industry, including oil and chemical uh, industries. Uh, sp such planning uh, will give more security uh, to the workers and more prospect for career growth. Um, the author uh, tries to analyze uh, problems and challenges um, uh, which Chinese oil and gas companies are facing. Uh, in the process of investment, uh, she comments that Chinese companies uh, are looking for uh, uh, for the preferred strategy of development, and for this purpose, they have to evaluate the political, economic, and other factors and risks uh, by comparing uh, flexible project for uh, 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 purchasing and transfer of shares, and for other. Uh, uh, actions, stage 65, and our uh, well, conclusion uh, describes the main conclusions of the author. A uh, long list of Chinese and um, uh, Russian and Chinese uh, sources, and uh, at the moment the work has a number of uh, drawbacks. For example, uh, in the title, the author focuses on political aspects of interaction of Russia and China in the oil and gas uh, uh, sector, yet uh, in the thesis itself, there is not a single paragraph dedicated to this statement. Uh, the author focuses uh, obviously on the uh, economy, uh, which uh, makes the uh, takes the uh, subject uh, outside uh, specialty. Uh, secondly, since the author focuses on the economic challenges of interaction between Russia and China, it, it would make sense. Uh, when speaking of uh, in uh, when specializing in international relations, uh, dedicate a chapter uh, to economic uh, uh, relations of the two countries and uh, study the geopolitical and geoeconomic strategies of the two countries. Uh, yeah, the author mentions these terms but uh, does not analyze them um, from political context. And uh, secondly, uh, the list of publications, uh, especially the uh, list uh, of um, for example, such articles as development of management of the oil and gas industry in China and the gender policy in China uh, do not uh, meet the theme of the, uh, of the thesis. At the same time, two articles uh, have the same title. Uh, issues of uh, Chinese investment in the Russian oil and gas sector. Both uh, articles were published in 2017. Uh, we would like the author to comment on that. Uh, despite these comments, the thesis of Chen Xinlin uh, on the theme uh, political aspects of Chinese investment in the oil and gas sectors of Russia meets the key requirements set forth by the order of uh, the 1st of September 2016, 6821-1, on the order of awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University and the candidate. Mm -hmm. Chen Jinlin uh, deserves uh, the academic degree of candidate of political science, uh, specialization 230004, political issues of international relations, global and regional development. Clause 11 of the above mentioned order has not been violated by the candidate. Thank you for your attention. Uh, Thank you, Sergei Nikolaevich, for your interest, interesting remarks and questions. In um, um, this, my thesis, I uh, studied the, uh, the uh, aspects of interaction between Russia and China, uh, which are uh, connected uh, to the uh, not only political but economic, and uh, to obtain. Uh, um, uh, we also studied uh, polit official uh, documents uh, and. Uh, and uh, speeches of uh, uh, and regulation uh, documents regulating the and interviews uh, uh, many many books by Russian and uh, Chinese authors and uh, statistics as well and um, uh, international uh, it's uh, true that uh, these uh, statistics uh, 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 but pol pol politics and economics are very closely related. These uh, studies um, 
uh, on the other hand, uh, support uh, the thesis on political aspects in the uh, political uh, sector. And also, I'd like to say that in Chapter 3, in the first paragraph, uh, several paragraphs dedicated to political interaction between Russia and China in the oil and gas sector. And uh, thank you for your other comments, and I accept your comments. Uh, thank you for your interesting uh, context and remarks. And, uh, uh, thank you. Please have a seat. Uh, uh, now uh, let's give the floor to uh, Professor uh, Naldebekova Makasheva. Uh, dear members uh, of the Council, dear, uh, the thesis by Chen Jinlin uh, on the uh, theme political aspects of Chinese investment in gas and gas uh, industries of Russia is certainly relevant uh, because uh, at present uh, Chinese economy is the uh, most dynamic and fastest growing economy in the world and its impact on the world economy is also growing rapidly. And uh, well, we, we should agree with the candidate that Russia is a, a principal partner for China because uh, Russia is rich in energy resources and a Chinese investment in the oil and gas sector is one of the components of uh, Chinese and Russian strategic partnership. The thesis consists of uh, introduction, three chapters, conclusion, and a list of uh, reference literature. It's 190 pages long. In the introduction, uh, the candidate explained relevance of his study, defined the subject and goal of his study, uh, defined the goal and uh, objectives of the study, uh, methods and uh, sources of his study. The first chapter, Chinese investment policy in the context of world development, con consists of two paragraphs dealing with uh, the stages of evolution of the international oil and gas structure and the experience, uh, investment experience in the contemporary oil and gas sector. Uh, the author uh, justly says that oil and gas investment in foreign countries is uh, an important, plays an important role in the Chinese investment policy and is closely connected with the political relations, investment uh, environments. And uh, indeed, uh, in recent years, Chinese uh, companies uh, got uh, some experience in uh, of, of foreign investment. Uh, is working, China is working uh, with more than 100 countries and regions. Uh, the author has uh, analysis of three types of investment models. Uh, the Angola model, uh, share of oil and gas resources, and uh, loan in exchange for oil. Uh, the author for, uh, emphasizes the role of the state uh, in uh, providing uh, Chinese oil and gas companies with uh, funding, uh, which makes them uh, more competitive. Uh, in the second chapter, the uh, Chinese go out strategy and the Russian oil and gas policy, uh, the basis of interaction, is dedicated to the Chinese strategy in developing the oil and gas industry and uh, ensuring the oil security and the international aspects of the Russian oil and gas policy. Uh, the good point of this chapter is that the author analyzes the Chinese investment strategy of going out uh, connected uh, immediately with investment, uh, foreign investment, uh, which is now used in many concepts of future development of China. Uh, the uh, up, the candidate uh, emphasizes that this strategy is, has uh, uh, national, the national character and uh, the chi China should be more uh, active in the regional economic cooperation. Uh, from the point of the theoretic base, the investment strategy uh, of going out uh, is um, um, connected, first of all, the international strategy. In real life, uh, Chinese, uh, uh, the Chinese consider uh, well, this strategy, the essence of the strategy to be direct investment in all gas companies. Uh, well, to, em to emphasize um, the role of such investment, the author analyzes studies uh, conducted on the, um, uh, on the example of India 
and uh, investment projects of uh, Japanese transnational companies, uh, investment situations in Singapore and China, and concludes that there is no universal investment strategy. In the, uh, in, in the final chapter, interaction of Russia and China is in the is, uh, energy sector uh, challenges, uh, the author um, uh, describes the Ru Russian, uh, Russian Chinese cooperation and uh, it, it, its challenges and uh, methods to overcome. Uh, the chapter uh, looks at oil and gas cooperation in the golden sector. Uh, oil and gas cooperation analyzes uh, challenges and the ways to analyze them. An interesting moment is that among such um, challenges, such as immature energy strategy of China, uh, the candidate uh, mentions the need to develop uh, well, the human resource potential uh, and involvement of women. Uh, the candidate emphasizes that it's important to strengthen the role of women in development uh, in, the, in management of the oil and gas industry and um, quotes the idea of uh, Xi Jinping and the uh, Chinese dream idea, which became an important theoretical basis for female development. And uh, well, the conclusion contains uh, uh, results of the. In uh, general, the uh, thesis is full of interesting facts. A successful analyzes models, concepts, and strategies of China, uh, uses uh, statistical data uh, from uh, national and international uh, agents by national and international agencies. Uh, yet, uh, in addition to the strong points of this thesis, uh, let me uh, mention some uh, drawbacks. First of all, in the introduction, I think uh, the uh, degree of uh, uh, the level of uh, knowledge about is uh, uh, quite ambiguous. Uh, it's obvious uh, that the candidate relied on a wide range of sources. Uh, in my opinion, uh, the uh, list of sources, um, uh, the sources have not been grouped properly. In the introduction, uh, the subject of the study, a resource or uh, oil and gas policy of Russia and China, according to the uh, theme, um, the uh, should focus on investment of China and, and uh, political aspect of Chinese investment. Uh, yet uh, the candidate constantly focuses on Chinese and Russian energy cooperation, uh, China-Russia gas cooperation, and the political aspect of Chinese investment uh, uh, gets very little attention. Uh, though this is mentioned occasionally, the author the uh, work would be more complete if the author um, uh, presented statistics of uh, investment, but um, these no they have not been systematically presented. Uh, in, generally speaking, the candidate. Um, uh, has studied many sources in, in uh, foreign languages. Uh, it's an independent study. The thesis of Chen Xinlin on the theme political aspects of Chinese investment in the oil and gas uh, sectors of Russia uh, meets the main requirements set forth by the order of the 1st of September 2016, number 6821-1 on the order of uh, awarding uh, academic degrees at St. Petersburg University. And candidate Chen Xinlin deserves to be awarded academic degree of candidate uh, of sciences, specialization 230004, political uh, issues of international relations, global and regional development. Clause 11 of the above uh, mentioned order has not been violated. Uh, Professor Makasheva. Uh, uh, dear Professor Makasheva, thank you for your question and uh, valuable comments. I uh, agree um, uh, with your opinion and uh, Within the limits of our work, the object of uh, research is a resource, first of all, an oil and gas policy of China and Russia. Um, 
besides the uh, political uh, aspect of Chinese investment cannot be uh, is not considered the object of my research as uh, uh, the uh, task said by the author study the political aspects of Chinese investment in the oil and gas industry. First, we should consider the change within the system and then uh, the investment policy of China. Because the um, well, about dividing the source base into groups. Uh, I uh, absolutely agree with this comment, and uh, I will certainly use your comments and uh, will pay more attention to your comments in the, my future research. Uh, thank you for your comments. Uh, thank you. Please have a seat. And uh, now let me uh, present my review. The relevance, uh, of course, is obvious, because in the 21st century, the energy policy is the uh, key tendency of geopolitical and geoeconomic uh, picture of the world and speaking of the content of the thesis uh, uh, chapters one and two are uh, um, focus on the history of development of oil and gas uh, industry in the 20th century, uh, peculiarities of investment policies on China in developing, in, uh, developing countries, and only in the last paragraph of chapter two, uh, international aspects of the Russian oil and gas policy, uh, page 75-81. Uh, the author tries to touch upon the main theme of uh, her thesis, specialization 23004, but uh, well, only six pages. She dedicates only six pages, and that is why the uh, conclusion of the paragraph on the uh, importance of um, uh, Russian uh, policy has not been uh, properly described in this, n neither in the paragraph nor in the chapter in Jeropa. Uh, even though the chapter is called Chinese Go Out Strategy and Russian Oil and Gas Policy, uh, Basis of Interaction. Uh, in addition to that, the theoretical statement of the models of international oil and gas cooperation. Uh, there was a li the models were listed uh, by the applicants on pages 71 75 uh, are not c connected uh, with the rest of the thesis because uh, they uh, get no practical explanation um, in the framework of cooperation of Russia and China which should be the main theme of the thesis uh, the most interesting part of the thesis is chapter 3 uh, interaction of China and Russia in the sphere of en uh, energy uh, investment issues where the author uh, discusses uh, conditions for effective investment uh, in the oil and gas uh, sector of uh, Russia. Uh, should uh, We should also mention is uh, uh, a mutually beneficial investment policy in the context of uh, uh, increasing roles of Russia and China, uh, which uh, uh, the author uh, emphasizes in conclusion. Uh, it's also possible to uh, emph to praise uh, the uh, statement on geopolitical, geoeconomic uh, significance of the two currents in the uh, world sector, world economy. Uh, where Russia and China should develop a common uh, strategy of cooperation. Uh, this is a, a good conclusion, uh, which is not well described in the thesis. Um, this uh, well, some statements are uh, uh, not good. For example, page 101, the author describes the need for strategic uh, cooperation, uh, but uh, there is gives no proof of that. Uh, the author only briefly mentions the uh, economic uh, diplomacy as an important political instrument in the investment policy of China. Uh, the author never analyzes um, uh, 
the impact of sanctions on the uh, Western uh, turn of the Russian policy, and uh, especially in the in investment sphere. Uh, yeah, it should be uh, taken. We should note, of course, that uh, the Russian language is foreign. Yet, uh, I think that uh, on page uh, 34. Uh, location of uh, two countries uh, neighbors econo uh, econo is uh, complementary strategy synergy uh, created uh, conditions for bilateral uh, energy cooperation uh, this sentence makes no sense uh, speaking of the list of publications uh, among here I agree with uh, the opinion of Professor Pagodin uh, uh, out of 23 publications, which is a long list, uh, uh, is very unusual. So out of 23 publications, seven uh, in publications recommended by VAC, two articles uh, which uh, are not connected uh, to the um, topic of the thesis. Uh, two articles have the same name, uh, Prospects of inv uh, Chinese Investment in Russian Oil and Gas, and uh, there are, uh, also there are four articles published in 2016 with the same name, uh, Prospects of Russia-Chinese Russia Oil and Gas Cooperation, Sino-Russian Oil and Gas Cooperation. So what's, uh, I'd like to know the reasons for these repetitions. Uh, is this uh, is this a language issue or is this uh, what's the reason? In uh, conclusion, I'd like to say that uh, some uh, many uh, many problems uh, in uh, the articles uh, would not take place uh, if uh, the academic supervisor. Um, did not pass away, uh, speaking of Svetlana Mikhailovna Vinogradova. Uh, in conclusion, of course, uh, I'd like to say that uh, well, the thesis by Chen Zinlin, political aspects of investment of uh, in the oil and uh, gas industry in Russia uh, meets the key requirements set forth uh, uh, by order on the 1st of September 2016 on the order of awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University. And the applicant, Chen Jinlin, deserves the degree of candidate of political science, specialization 23004, uh, and clause 11 of the above uh, mentioned order has not been violated. Uh, dear Natalia Alexeyevna, thank you for your questions and valuable comments. Um, and uh, your um, uh, comments uh, coincide with the comments of uh, Sergei Nikolaevich, so let me uh, answer both of you. So I will uh, answer uh, both uh, of you. I agree that two articles, the development of management of the chemical industry in China, uh, gender aspects, and the gender policy of China are not directly related to the topic of my thesis, yet they are directly related to the topic of my thesis because uh, uh, China, um, uh, China has to uh, need, need to develop the human resources, and one of them is the presence of women in the labor market is important for China. And uh, there are two articles uh, with the same title, um, but the text is absolutely different. The first one was published, uh, uh, the first one, um, countries are facing challenges with their energy security, and China is also among those countries, and uh, is among those countries competing for strategic resources. And uh, this is more about history and control, control of international oil and gas structures, England and the United States. And the second article, Prospects of Chinese Investment, um, is from the uh, geopolitical point. Um, Chinese energy system is built on the basis of three factors, countries exporting oil and gas, countries importing oil and gas, and transport. At present, dependence on imported materials and energy is grown in China. Thus, the lack of resources is the main reason for uh, the need 
to invest in the energy sector of the other countries. Uh, the list of publications includes four articles published in 2016 with the same title. I agree, but the article in the Management and Managers magazine gives the modern political analysis of China and Russia in particular. Uh, uh, they have, uh, and the um, uh, China Russia has a, uh, is uh, mutually beneficial. The article in the Chinese market describes statistics of bilateral relations and the trade turnover between Russia and China on the basis of which we concluded that now a new round of development of the Sino-Russian oil and gas cooperation is happening. The magazine Success of Modern Science uh, highlighted the prospects of oil and gas cooperation in Russia and China from the side of uh, Chinese oil and gas companies CNPC, CNOOC, Sinope Group. Uh -uh. The magazine in Success of Modern Science, pages 163-164, describes the construction of oil and gas pipelines, the prospects of, uh, and uh, we concluded that um, uh, the uh, uh, cooperation has great potential. Uh, so we, um, uh, we f f fully agree with the rest of your comments, and we accept them. Thank you very much for your comments. Okay. Okay. Next point on our agenda is a speech of the academic supervisor, but uh, advisor. As but as I mentioned, in July Svetlana Mikhailovna passed away, but uh, there is a review. Uh, so let me read it. Uh, Svetlana Nikolaevna says that Chen Jin Lin uh, completed course, postgraduate course in 2017 at St. Petersburg University, uh, where she uh, successfully presented her graduation project. Uh, she uh, displays great influ interest in the study of oil and gas sector of Russia and China. She is very consistent. Uh, her interests uh, were reflected in the subject theme of her thesis. And then uh, Svetlana Mikhailovna uh, provides an overview of the uh, key points of the thesis. Uh, introduction, three chapters. And she believes that uh, the um, uniqueness of uh, Chen Xinlin thesis is because uh, she focuses on the key uh, um, point of Rus uh, Russia Chinese interaction, the investment policy. Uh, Svetlana Mikhailovna also says that the author uh, uh, proves that uh, cooperation between Russia and China in the oil and gas sector is mutually beneficial and will make both countries stronger and more prosperous. And uh, in addition to this, uh, Dr. Vinogradova says that list of uh, literature and sources uh, in, uh, includes almost 300 items. And then uh, she uh, claims uh, that the author uh, 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 very rightly says that this is one of the first uh, studies in Russian and for international political science, uh, which focuses on the national regional uh, problems which affect investment cooperation between Russia and China. Uh, well, she defines uh, specific features of the Chinese investment policy, the role of the state demonstrates strong and weak points of the oil of, uh, company, oil and gas companies of China, and uh, she believes that she introduced some important sources which uh, uh, have not been known by, uh, to the Russian scientific community. And in conclusion, uh, Dr. Vinogradova says that the thesis is uh, 
uh, of interest to everybody, uh, in, interest anyone interested in uh, the relationship between uh, uh, Russia and China. And been uh, present the key fund has been presented in many publications. So she thinks that uh, this thesis meets the requirement, the key requirements, uh, to and uh, can be should be accepted for defense. So these are this is the opinion of the academics uh, advisor. Let us move to the next item on our agenda or the discussion. Uh, Does anybody want to? We don't have any attendees, or uh, no one uh, uh, signed the registration sheet. So let's move on to the next item. And the next item is the discussion, five minutes, the discussion uh, by the council members. Uh, for that period, please stop broadcasting. And anyone who is not a member of the Dissertation Council, please leave the meeting room and uh, we will inform you. Uh, I will invite you to come back when the discussion.
the meeting is resumed. Please turn the sound on. And uh, the most important moment of our session has come. I now put the awarding the academic degree to the open individual vote. Let me remind you that the decision of the dissertation council shall be considered positive if more than a half, but but not less than three members of the council taking part in this session voted for it in accordance with Article 23 of the procedure for awarding academic degrees of St. at St. Petersburg University. Appendix 1 to the Council. Well, let's start. Council member, Professor Pantsarev Konstantin Arsenievich. Your opinion, thank you. Dear colleagues, to my regret, I uh, have not changed my opinion. I'm against awarding the degree. Uh, I presented my review, and I uh, have not been satisfied with the answers uh, of the candidate. Uh, a member of the council, uh, Zelina Varina Vladimirovna, I has not changed. I have not changed my opinion. I think the author meets uh, all the requirements, and the candidate deserves to the degree of candidate of uh, political sciences. I am for. Uh, council member uh, Pagodin, Sergei Nikolaevich, I have not changed my opinion. Uh, I stated in my review, so I'm voting for. A council member, uh, Makasheva Klara Noldebekevna, I have not changed my opinion. I believe uh, the uh, candidate deserves the degree of candidate of political sciences, uh, specialty uh, 23000, problems with national relations, global and regional development. I am uh, voting for. And myself, as the chairman of the council, I have not changed my opinion, uh, which I expressed in my review, so my opinion is positive. Thus, uh, after counting votes uh, f uh, four members voted for, one voted against, and no one abstained. The decision to award the degree of candidate of political science, uh, specialization 23004, political problems of international relations, global and regional development, to Chen Jinlin has been taken. Uh, uh, let's uh, give the floor to the candidate for her final word. Uh, thank you, uh, members of the dear members of the dissertation council. Uh, thank you to the university, to the uh, school of uh, international relations. Uh, thank you to my uh, academic advisor. Thank you, everybody. I declare the session closed. Thank you all for your participation. Please stop online broadcasting. Thank you.